What's going on guys, it's Jeramon and this box came in the mail yesterday and it was totally unexpected. I had no idea it was coming and much to my surprise, it is from Reebok. Now I'm not sure what recent releases Reebok has had. Reebok hasn't sent something over in quite a while so I am excited to see what's in this box but I'm telling you guys, I have no idea. It could just be tissue paper for all I know. I don't know what's in the box, so I can't wait to see it. Let's unbox it together. First, let's read the label. That might give us a clue. It says running, so this is probably a running shoe. Run R96. Hmm, 96. That's Allen Iverson's draft class. My favorite basketball player of all time. Could this be like a retro, high-tech, modern-day era running sneaker with some 96 Iverson answer question flair. That would be pretty dope. Anyways, let's see what's in here. Boom. Okay, we got more tissue paper. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Whoa, look at these guys. Red, white, and black. Those are my three favorite colors. Wow. Oh, man. All right, let me take a look at this sneaker. These are trippy. They're pretty light, actually. It might look like a heavy shoe, but I'm actually really surprised with how light they are. Now, it looks very lifestyle model-like, especially with the premium touches. Now, it isn't premium materials, but it gives off that feel. This white overlay that you're seeing, it's made to feel like leather, but I don't think it is. It's probably a synthetic. Let me take a look at the grain. It looks like a synthetic. And also the, not the inner lining, not the complete inner lining of the sneaker is made with leather, but the trim in the collar area, as well as the tongue, that has, again, probably synthetic leather. So there are premium lifestyle touches here. Touches, touches. And it kind of looks like a high fashion sneaker. You know, the 90s, Sneaker is coming back in style and this definitely has some 90s flair because again the label the name of the shoe has 96 in it So how more 90s could you get but wow color blocking is very interesting to me You have a splash of reddish orange this reddish orange right here It's also in the insole and the medial side this color reminds me of Mushu from Mulan Eddie Murphy's character his dragon color that's what this color reminds me of. But again, I just love this color blocking, the white and the black. You guys already know I'm all over that. But take a look at the lacing system. It goes all the way to the front of the shoe. That is pretty interesting. And the lacing actually up here on top, how do you lace these? You could just tie them up like this and then loop them like this, I guess. You could do that. I don't know, you could tuck them inside probably. You could do some intricate knots if you're a Boy Scout. I'm not really too sure, but it has a little lace lock up front. And another thing that I'm noticing is a little hint of 3M right there on the tongue. And you guys know I love reflective materials. I just made a video about the Yeezys and how it's reflective materials, the basketball Yeezys, are going to cause it to potentially not be on an NBA floor. So make sure you go check out that video with the link in the upper right hand corner. But yeah, there's reflective materials right there. Take a look at the outsole. This front part of the outsole is very, very deep. The traction is super deep. It almost looks like a trail traction pattern, while the rest of the outsole has these really small little things that I think will wear down rather quickly. But if you're four foot heavy, it's good news here that the outsole is pretty thick. It looks pretty durable as well. Oh, it is actually a little soft, I don't know. I'm not really gonna be running around in these on a trail. I'm just gonna rock these casually because I really like how these look. In fact, I'm really interested to see what the sizing on these is like. So let me just slap these on right now. Okay, so they sent a 10 and a half, and I have to say it's just a little roomy around the front, but overall I would say true to size. I just think that's how the sneaker is. It does look a little boxy up here in the front, so Roominess is something to expect with a sneaker that's shaped like this and plus the materials aren't really wrapping around your foot, but definitely true to size. I want to go down half a size. The midfoot is pretty tight. I really like how these look. Let me give you guys a little on foot preview of what these look like. I think it looks pretty dope. This sneaker is definitely rocking with the current trend, the current wave 
of again 90 sneakers but i have to say reebok thank you very very much for sending these over i am very excited to rock these i'm gonna try to find links to this sneaker in the description box below if it has already released so be sure to check that out if you're interested in this sneaker right here if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up that helps me out a lot and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this more unboxings and again check out that yeezy video right here over to your right my name is jaren it's for good having you catch you in the next one peace